how to have that on-field leadership. Now, they got some great on-field leaders, of course, uh, but uh, how to have that on-field leadership to stop the rot. Set to go. Underway from Flinders University Stadium in South Adelaide's Keegan Brooksby. Gets the first kick of the contest. Goes out wide. No one in particular. Here's Marty Frederick. He's been in great form. No one in particular out there. Leading the race back there, but not getting a good bounce was Amos Doyle. Now he's got some work to do, and has given away the free kick in the process as well. Getting down low. This is Cam Kirk on the teenager. 18 years of age. Youngest player out there today. And he shares it across quickly and finds O'Neill. That's a little bit. The umpire's trying to get involved there. Not a lot in that from Amos Doyle. Both players going at it. This is... Again, South Adelaide pushing forward, and the mark's been taken here by Ben Heeslip. It's a goal kicker two weeks ago in the last game. He's going short, though. Lee comes on into the pocket. He wants Sprout sliding down. Measured approach. Drop punt underway, and he seals the deal. It took less than two minutes. South Adelaide on the board. And good job, and now the support arrives as well. The kick from Doyle is smothered, though. So South Adelaide pressing here at the moment, giving the double blues all they can handle as they try and lock it in. It's a chance now. Kick does come from Liam Fitt outside of the boot. Got it on target as well. They've kicked two in the first four minutes, and the Panthers are rolling. Able to get the ball out and find some support from Sampson. So out of side. Going into the attacking 50, coming out fire tag, good strong hands. He read that beautifully and his momentum carried him through nicely. Damon free tag, he's kicked 10-2 for the season. Tight sort of angle, but we saw Sproul do it moments ago. And this one is right on target as well. South Adelaide, three entries, three goals. Got up to the advantage there of O'Neill, who jammed it onto the boot. Double Blues looking to get their hands on the ball. And they do on this occasion, so a chance for them. As Parker drives them deep inside their attacking 50. Hone! Well, he got away. Got some separation there from Darnell Tucker. It was so quick. I don't think Oscar even saw them coming. Brooksby sweeps one through nicely as Eli Smith comes through. And defensively, Sturt holding up okay for the moment. Although that handball was intercepted by Heaslip. Gives it off quickly to O'Neill. Delivers with his left nicely. Here's a chance for Wilkinson. A chance for the double blues. As Guy Page released some pressure with an intelligent kick as well. Worked it to the advantage of his teammate. And here's Burrows, who does have a good leg. He goes from 60, and he skids it through. Swings around nice with his kick. There's Battersby. We've been talking about him. Frederick is enjoying a wonderful season as well. Goes forward. Hone with the grab. Couldn't take it. Picked up by the debutant. Gia Cometti going to the square. Going back off the deck. Wonderful work by the Blues. I think it's Big Burrows has got his second. To fire on all cylinders. He's had three disposals in this second term alone. Here's O'Neill once more. Kick forward, playing in front. Mark's been taken here by Sprout. Will Kumblis has the job on him, giving away some centimetres, and Sprout feeds it quickly. Finds Wilkinson. This was now ready. South, of South Adelaide's only rep in the state team last weekend. Wilkinson. It's a good look at it. Got it low. Didn't get enough on it, in fact. Got it to the goal square. That's almost a mark. It's going to be paid. A free tag looking for his second from close range. Makes no mistake. Panthers have got their fourth. Cameron Pierce and James Rowell with two goals there. Central District leading Glenelg. They've been good this year. And good contest between North and Port at the moment as Sproul goes back with a fly to the ball. Whistle on the play. A free kick going to the Panthers. Front on contact. So this to give South Adelaide a 12-point buffer. They led by 18 in the opening quarter. They lead by 12 here in the second as Sproul kicks his second. And doing a very good job of it. Had 13 disposals and a game-high seven tackles on debut last week. Played in the Clarendon District's Premiership last year. And now starting in the middle of the ground against the 6-0 double blues. Big ask for him, but he's... Covered himself in glory so far. Ball still in dispute. Came to Sproul. He's quickly onto the boot. Sproul's already kicked two, and now he's kicked three. Well, the Panthers extend the lead. The march is down to a game-high 18. That's where we were early in that first term when South kicked the first three goals. So Sproul has got three already as Richards leads out to Claverino, then gives it off to Frederick, able to just show a clean set of heels and puts on the chest of Burrows. He has a chance now for a third. Chance now for 
The double blues deep into attack and going back. The sticky fingers there of Elliot Duncan were pretty to watch. Soda, South kicked the first three goals of the game. Then Sturt kicked the next three. Then South kicked three more. And now Burrows has kicked his third. Is that the first of three coming for Sturt? Position, couldn't complete the mark. His Lewis wrestles out of a tackle. That was a sweeping hand pass. Got it to the advantage here of Giacometti. The first gamer goes to the top of the square. Looking for Hone against Haynes. Good contest. Ball spills free. They've moved Connor McFadgen forward. And he's come up with his first goal in the sample. High flyer, Kumblis. Brought it to ground. Drives Sturt back inside their attacking 50. Front position. And free kick is being paid here to the double blues. Look, was Squizzer a... Uh, can fun on Jack Odie medalist of grand no, final day. No, that was Matty Power won that grand final. The little man and kick the goal early on in the first term. And this kick has yeah. got enough. Then that is an absolute cracker from John. Have kicked the last four goals. So South Adelaide needs something in this turn. Great mark by Shillabier. Went back with a flight and just took a nice little hang. Panthers have twice led by 18. Rain getting a little heavier now. It was predicted it was coming, and here it is arriving. Rose sees the open man and did that well. Controlled the kick, and he finds Liam Fitt. Anyone on the goal line could have got a, a boot to that. This rain just started slowly, but now coming in on 45 degrees. <laughs> Love your footy. Short pass. Well, O'Neill half volleyed it. Now he's got problems. Has to go back in the direction of Kobe Much. Good pressure from Sturt. Tucker knocked down, taking the kick. Mark was taken by Eamon Wilkinson. And certainly no malice in that from Richards, but he's caught Tucker solidly, and they're going to have to attend to him perhaps in a bit of minutes in that last quarter. So Tucker has escorted off the ground, taken off on the stretcher. Both came off the boot of Battersby with some shots at goal. So there's not going to be a lot of time on. What are we ticking up to nearly 24 minutes now? And downfield. There's a free kick that's gone against Kumblis, and Schillerbeer is rolling around on the ground holding onto his stomach. I think everyone at Panther Park was looking at the contest in the centre of the ground so no one could see what Kumblis actually did and be interested if we've got a camera angle at the back or we've oh, just missed it there. Let's another look at that. That's, that's Great work 60, from our Channel 7 coming 70 metres off the contest. Yeah. Not long left on the clock, and he has! So South Adelaide, they're still alive! There's a pulse in the Panthers! Off the deck came from Wilkinson. He slipped. Here's a chance now for the vice captain. Oh, he's taken off, he just tried to get to his right foot. Casey Voss will get the free kick.